Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the Lewis structure for PO43- ion. It has a chemical name of phosphate ion and to determine its Lewis structure we are first going to find out the total number of valence electrons for this molecule. So we have one atom of phosphorus and six atoms of oxygen. Apart from that as there is a minus three charge over here it means it is accepting three additional electrons to attain this structure. So we are also going to consider this. So in total we have 32 valence electrons for this molecule. Now here as phosphorus is less electronegative than the oxygen atom it will take the central position and all the oxygen atoms will be arranged around it like this. Once you have done that we can place a bond between phosphorus and oxygen atom to show a bond and then arrange the remaining electrons around oxygen atoms. Here each uh, oxygen atom will have 6 valence electrons apart from these bonds and we will complete the total of 32 valence electrons by drawing this structure. Now this may seem as a relevant and accepted Lewis structure for phosphate ion but hold on. Phosphorus is a group 3 element and it can have more than 8 electrons in its uh, octet and hence we have to check if the formal charges of all the atoms in this are as per the charges given over here. So for calculating that we have this formula. Now phosphorus has 5 valence, val valence electrons out of which 0 are non-bonding and all 8 of them are bonding and hence we have a charge of plus 1 for phosphorus. Similarly if we calculate the formal charges for oxygen atom we have 6 valence electrons out of which 6 are non-bonding and 2 are bonding and we have a charge of minus 1. Now if you place all the charges you will see that the uh, end result we are getting is a minus 3 charge which is fine because we do have a minus 3 over here as it is accepting 3 electrons but in Lewis structures we try to uh, come up with structures in which formal charges are as close to 0 as possible here we are going to try that um, this phosphorus atom has a 0 formal charge and for doing that we need to shift a pair of electrons from this oxygen atom in between this uh, phosphorus and oxygen atom doing that we might have a 0 formal charge on phosphorus and it, it could help us to attain a good uh, Lewis structure so doing that if you calculate the formal charges now phosphorus will have a formal charge of 0 the oxygen that is forming a double bond with phosphorus will also have a formal charge of 0 and the rest of the oxygens that are forming single bonds with phosphorus atom will have a charge of minus 1 so in total we have a charge of minus 3 which is fine because we already have minus 3 charge over here and now this is the Lewis structure of PO43 minus as these three oxygen atoms have minus 1 charge and both this oxygen and phosphorus atom have zero formal charges. So this is the Lewis structure for PO43 minus whenever there is a molecule in which an element belongs to period 3 or the elements are, are such that they can have expanded octates always go ahead and check the formal charges and try to draw a structure in which the formal charges are as close to as zero as possible and hence this is the Lewis structure of PO43 minus for more such videos on Lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.